I'm informed, I think, you know, usually. I am on Twitter. I read. Dad? Like, I'm an accepting, evolved sort of man. I love pride, you know. I know, Dad. Everything okay? Okay. I've got something to ask, but I don't want to sound old or stupid or, you know, bigoted or anything. Dad, just ask. Okay. Right. Well, you know Jeff from number 34 that I go running with? Yeah. Well, his child. Stephanie? Um, well, his kid, yes, has come out, I think. As what? Uh, and they... Ah, like non-binary. Is that it? That's why I'm asking you. Non-binary means someone who isn't necessarily a boy or a girl. This can mean different things to different people. So a really useful question, if you're not sure what someone means when they talk about their identity or sexuality is, what does that mean to you? Often non-binary people use the pronouns they or them. So an example might be, does Steph like to read? The answer could be, they love to read. It's confusing though. I've always known the kid is her. I don't want to get it wrong. She, I mean, they were really cool about you coming out. The whole family was. So I want to get it right. That's the first thing you are getting right, Dad. Once your efforts are coming from a good place, it's okay to make mistakes. Once you're trying, is Steph keeping the same name? Oh, um, I didn't think to ask. Sometimes non-binary people choose a different name, so it's important to listen to how someone refers to themselves and take your cues that way. Just the same way lots of people know that they're a boy or a girl, others know they're not either one or the other, and that's okay. It's super easy to help someone feel accepted with some small changes. Okay. Thanks, Pet. Is there anything else I need to know? Loads, but let's save it for next time. When people tell you their name and their pronouns, believe them. And you know the drill. Don't be a butt. <laughs>